Okay, so what we're looking at, this is the page that I have for the solar inverters. Um, again, there is so much data that you can pull from each one, especially the SMA stuff. So what you have to understand is the ones that I've written BT after, these are Bluetoothed, okay? And the ones that are either standard solar Wi-Fi and stuff like that, they are just the newer uh, SMA solar inverters. Now they already come with both Wi-Fi and with um, hard ethernet connection. So what I wanted to do is not spend a huge amount of money, which you could do for some of the older um, SMA Sunny Boy equipment. Okay, you can go out, you can buy an ethernet card, retrofit it, so instead of it using Bluetooth, it can use um, Ethernet connection. Okay, that's that's great. But then we also have the other one, which is the one labeled here as Carport 1.3 BT. That is so old that it doesn't even have a retrofit Ethernet card. So it's a route that I wanted to know if it will work, put it that way. And so it's been really more of a time for testing to see if all of this can go together all at the same time. So what this or what I've basically got to the point now is where the Bluetooth stuff does work and it works fairly well. Um, it works on about a one minute delay lag on updating whereas the um, newer equipment either through Ethernet or anything like that will work pretty much instantaneously. You'll get a, anywhere from one second up to 20 seconds. Um, most of the time because it's already Ethernet based you'll get it within one second. Okay, if you also notice, what I also have here is Ging Long. So, the good news is that, say you don't have all the same manufactured equipment, you don't have all SMA stuff, right? You, you, you've got all different mixed brands and stuff. You want to also monitor that. So, we've managed to also get the really old stuff and not in the most traditional way. So, where it's the Ging Long solar inverter, that could be, frankly, anything that produces AC voltage. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be SMA. Okay, so this is where if you could and you picked up a really good deal on solar inverters and they were cheap and then it was, yeah, you can monitor them. You can integrate those into this. So really, all I really wanna know is what is the status of that piece of equipment at the moment? Is it good, is it bad, what is it? Um, if it's not running, then you can investigate further. But at the moment, what you want to just know is, is it is it okay? Is it running okay? So that's all I want to know, followed by the next one. What is it producing in the moment? So those are your what's. And then followed by what are you producing over the day? That's really all the information that you want. And then you collate those totals together to give your daily solar yield. And that's literally it. You just want a little bit of a representation graph, and that will just enable you to see that you could have uh, cloud cover or you could be disconnecting on one of your SMA units, you don't know about it, and then suddenly reconnecting uh, four or five hours later. You'll want to know why. Is this a communications fault? Is this a uh, inverter has picked up a grounding fault? All of these kind of things. So it's leading you into a situation. Okay.